Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Full Metal Furies tonight. Last time, uh, we got hung up on what feels like a very endgame puzzle. At least I'm kind of hoping that's the case. Because, my goodness, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of other places we can go with this. So, um... Let's get back to it. <laughs> Let's go reread it and, and, and see what we can do. I did look up a, a very tiny hint for this one. Um, because last time we were flummoxed uh, quite severely uh, by this uh, by this endgame little puzzly puzzle. Um, one might even say we were stymied. Uh, so let's let's go look at it again. Um, and the hint I looked up for this was to, to read it very literally. Um, as to the... Oops, this isn't even the right thing. Nice. Uh, a a as to trying to interpret what it says. So, we're going to read it as literally as possible and see if we can figure it out from there. Um, this one, right? Yes, here we go. Oh, and also I need to kind of recreate my little translation key. Um, so I think A was 1 was up, right? And C was 2 was, I want to say, left? Yes. And then um, the little 4 was uh, three was right, and then the T, right, was four, was uh, down. Okay, so with that in mind, we've got T-A-T-C-A-4, or um, four, one, four, two, one, three, in numbers, or if we take directions, it would be down, uh, up, down, uh, left, up, right. Okay, so with that in mind, and with our translations complete, let's see what the rest of this uh, little clue is. Keeping in mind that we are reading this very literally, as, as per the hint that I read about this. <clears throat> blah, 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 so background lore, blah, 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 blah. The red part is the important bit. So bringing direction to the failed and fallen will always find its way to the living. So bringing direction. Okay, so that, if we're if we're reading this very literally, that means taking the directional translation of this. So down, up, down, left, up, right. Okay, easy enough. Bringing direction to the failed and fallen. Failed and fallen. Uh, okay, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that one yet. Will always find its way to the living. Um... Direction to the failed and fallen. Well, okay, so so literally, failed and fallen. The only time we've seen failed mentioned in the game would be on the game over screen? Maybe? Mission failed, right? Okay. That's something. It's not much. It's not much, but it's something. Okay. Direction on the game over screen will always find its way to the living. Will always will bring something to your next play, maybe. Okay, hold, hold on a second. Let me write down the entire thing so we don't have to come back to this again. <clears throat> so, uh, bringing direction to. Failed and fallen will always find its way to the living. Okay, we've got it written down, we've got the translations, we've got a perhaps literal interpretation that we were uh, advised to follow. Um, so the game over screen. So we need to go into a level and then fail. Um, we can do that. It doesn't matter where we go, it just needs to be a playable level. We get into a fight, and then fail, and lose, on purpose. Um, let's go to a boss-ish type fight, I guess. Let's get some money whilst we're here. Alright, hurry up. God, this is gonna take a while since we're super beefy. I'm really hoping this pays off, because, uh, honestly, that's about as literally as I could read that hint. 
So with, with that in mind, I suppose. Oh god, one more time to get terrible. Thank you. And then we gotta do it one more time. <laughs> It does afford us some time to drink, which is nice. One more. Hey, there you go. You guys are pros. Took forever, but you guys are pros. Okay, so... Game over screen, right? Bringing direction to the failed and fallen. Well, we've we've failed, right? It'll always find its way to the living. So if we try our directional code here, which would be down, up, down, left, up, right. Oh, son of a bitch, really. That was the thing? Okay, so the hint to read this literally it paid off. It's like super good. All right, so let me write this down. Then we got TCTA, A4TC, which is just about what we need. We don't need to fuck around with anything else, really. Okay, that looks to be the last little sequence that we need. Here's hoping. Um, we should be just about done here, because we've got... Oh, let's see. We've got most of... Oops, sorry, doggo. We've got most of everything here, don't we? Um, where's the little thing of a thing? Here we go. Seven crystal shards out of a total, I have no idea. It doesn't even let me look at it. Oops, sorry, doggo. Uh, okay, well... Maybe that was enough? Maybe this will be enough? Maybe this will carry us to, uh... The remainder of the end here? Let's hope so. Anyways. Or maybe there'll be an even... More difficult puzzle puzzle. Once we unlock this last thing here. Okay, so TCTA. A. T. T. A. Uh, A4 TC. Bonk. Okay. There's that one. I'm guessing this isn't going to fill in the rest of it, though. Like, we're still missing... How are we still missing, like, two or three pieces out of that, though? Like, what else could there possibly be? Like, we've done all the things. We've solved all the puzzles. I think. And that's all that gave us was another little book entry? Excuse me? Okay, I mean... Okay, right, let's see what it says. The tools to find humanity's paragon have been built. Towering computers have been hidden among the clouds. Yep, we just kind of went through all that. Only the world's true paragon will pass the test set forth by his machines. Inspiration here so well. This path has been laid out, and now only one thing remains. New dark age must be ushered before we can see the light. Night, the Titan King beneath us should fall. Okay, but... Okay, but then what? <laughs> okay, but then what? Like, there shouldn't there be more to this? We did all the things. We put in all the codes. Ma oh, okay, so maybe What's His Nuts has more info for us. The little peddler dude. It's like, oh, fuck. Y you solved all the things, here's another clue. Nope, that was worthless. Thanks, man. I guess we are missing one thing out of here. I'm guessing it's mixtape side A, which would probably not be helpful for Endgame. There's also this one here, which... Did we already do this one, though? I, f I feel like we did this one. I feel like we solved the riddle of that one. Um, we did that one, because that was the music notes thing. We did that one that was listening to the tones and the static. I 
I feel like we did this one, but I don't remember exactly. That one does nothing. Oh uh, yeah, we got that one. We solved that one. Uh, that's no good. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's silly. And everything else just has no value. So, okay. <laughs> What's the remainder of our thing here, then? Like, what... All right. Okay. Let's take a let's take a jog around the world here. Let's take a jog and see what we can see. Let's see if we got all the items first of all. That might be important too. Uh, oh, then there was also this. We're missing a thing here. Why are we how are we missing a thing here? Okay. Alright, we've got a, another... Hmm. We've got one more here. I don't remember even getting this. Oh, dear. Okay, this is gonna be... Um... Hmm. This is gonna be probably a comprehensive visual puzzle. So, um... I'm gonna try to record these as best I can. Uh, and take down some like notes about it because um, longest way equals the path, right? That's as close as we're gonna get there. Okay. Lion, regal, proud, brightest star points the way. Okay. Uh, lion. Oh man, I'm really gonna struggle to to take down these notes in a uh, reasonable fashion because I'm not 100% sure how to do this. But we'll see. Okay. Eh. <laughs> Trying to do this in text only and with uh fixed width font is not probably the most ideal way to do this. If I were smart, I'd pull up just like paint or something and, and or I could take screenshots and shit. Screenshots would probably be more effective, but we'll see if this works first. Uh, brightest star points the way. Okay. So far so good, right? Ram, stoic and straight, follow where he leads. He will meet you at the southeastern edge, where your journey begins. Huh, okay, that, there's more, there's more hints there. So the ram, follow where it leads, and then, I don't know where, how we're gonna do this one really. It's gonna do like that, and then maybe like that and that. And then what was the other? Part of that, southeastern edge. Where journey begins. Okay. Alright. That's, like, it's not too cryptic, I suppose. That's the whole point. But we're missing one. So will Dudeface McGee tell us about this last one? Where the hell is he? There he is. Curtis has no empathy. He thinks the underworld is an offense when it is a gift. The underworld is an offense when it is a gift. Okay. Alright. Um, what can we make of that? Oh. There's another gate here, wasn't there? Okay, so we haven't worked out everything. 
But that's another eight digit code, and we don't have eight digits. We really don't. So, uh. So, uh, how does one actually get those eight digits? Babylon, Thessaly, Alloy, New Atlantis, New Sticks. Okay, um. I don't, I don't know that these were actual levels. Well, they were new levels. Okay. Um, but what does that mean, necessarily? Yeah. We'll have to do a little bit of fighting, I suppose, for now. Ouch. <laughs> Assumption is this last tablet is in here somewhere, and that might actually square because I don't recall us ever getting one whilst we were headed through here. But if that's the case, I would kind of expect it to be a little bit stand out, right? Ask Jupiter trying to send us a string.
that I expect it would be easy to find either, but looks like there should be something else here. Or anything in the background or foreground, something that would hint to us uh, a little hidden bit or something. The amount of visual trickery they sometimes pull off is a little bit annoying. Like, it's clever. I'll, I'll grant that it's clever most times. I feel like we tried this already, though. Like, that one's too obvious to just leave behind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We discovered the last one just by sheer force of not ex ignoring the, the super obvious one. All right, so wait, this one we can just write down. Extremely strange. So, all right, so the crab. Um, bop. 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 Uh, tar points the way. Sure. Distrust lion. Okay. Okay, but then what? <laughs> like, what do I do with these uh, these four constellations and their extremely cryptic hints? Grab some extra cash for the road here. Alright, so knowing what we know about that... Hmm. South? Okay, so probably the- if, if this is another, like, ordering problem, right? Then we're probably looking at the ram hit to be first, right? Southeastern edge where your journey begins. But now... Where? <laughs> like, where do we put this in place? Southeastern... So if we if we take the where our journey begins part literally, then it's the, the very first levels, right? Thessaly, southeastern edge, what's right here? Yeah, we're missing two chests in this area for some reason. I don't know how we would ever find where those are. That's fine. Uh, south. Follow where the ram leads. Southeastern edge where the journey begins. Okay. I still don't quite understand that, though, because this feels like. Feels like each area is separate enough such that maybe these hints aren't for here. But I could be very wrong. Could be extremely wrong. So let's go back to um, here. That's where we got the hints to begin with, right? But then, if this is an ordering problem... I don't know which one would be second in that order. Because, 
I don't know if there's any really distinguishing. All right, all right, all right. So, all right, so let's go through these one more time. Swan, longest wing is the path. The longest wing is on the right, which is fine. But this area is kind of symmetrical, isn't it? So how would one determine what the longest wing is? And if it's meant to be read literally, as in the longest wing is the one on the right, so go to the right, we could maybe do something about that. Um, the lion, the brightest star, points to the way, which is the star on the left. Okay. <laughs> the ram follower leads southeastern edge where the journey begins. Okay. We can do that. Maybe. The crab, the guitar points the way, which is kind of like a flying V guitar with the thing going to the right. So I'm guessing that goes to the right. But where... Oh, and to distrust the lion. So probably not... Don't go to the left at all? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This is, this is weird. Okay, so the ram, follow where he leads. Is up. Left, flop. Right here, yeah? I guess that's close. That's pretty close to where we need to be. And then, I, I don't know which of the three to take next, other than to ignore the lion. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Puzzles are going okay so far. We uh, solved the riddle of the previous one that we got stuck on. Thanks to a very tiny hint I had to look up... Uh, prior to starting. So now we're into this kind of final-ish section. We've got one more eight-digit sequence to figure out, and we've got four constellations with accompanying cryptic garbage to, to do it with. So we followed the ramp, right? Longest wing is the path, so go over to the right, I guess? But like, how would that... Like, even if we tried to follow another one of these... We can't, really. I'm not even sure this is the area to be flying these in, either. Like, this is where we got the hints. This is where the things went down, but, uh... Southeastern edge where the journey begins. Alright, hold on. Let's, let's let's review them visually just to make sure I'm not an idiot. Well, I'll get of longest wing shows the path, which is clearly the one on the right, yeah? Speaks the ancient words. Four guides you will meet, and them you must follow. Keep your course true until the end, and the star shall reveal the message. Four guides you will meet. Let me write that bit down. Four guides must follow. Force true until end. Stars with message. Okay. All right. I mean, that's cryptic, but perhaps not inscrutable. Lion, regal, and proud as brightest star points the way. All my guidance and rewards shall bless you this day. I don't know that that any, really makes any sense. Oh, except for the fact that I kind of drew this improperly. Oh, no, I didn't. No, that's fine. Um... I'm trying to figure out if it means anything rotated. It's probably not. Okay. So kind of... Mm, kind of more cryptic. Less understandable. Whatever. Ram, stoic and straight, follow where he leads. He'll meet you at the southeastern edge where your journey begins. Which 
if we apply this literally, then it would be back where we started the game, right? Which was what we tried before. But, <laughs> but I have no idea if that's even close. Follow where he leads. Southeastern edge where your journey begins. Okay. And then the last one. Crab, confusing and obscure. Her guitar points the way. Warns you to be distrustful of the lion. But okay. Like... Where would we even begin to, uh, to apply this? This is the only place that's even remotely like a star. With the exception of... Um, this other place. But even then, we don't have a lot of room to man maneuver around here, so it's just like, well, okay. little extra journal on the top right really wasn't of any use to us. Just more, more lore. Hmm. It still doesn't track, like, this area doesn't even track what we had, so... Let's try following the ordering we were starting with last time. Which was... Way back at the beginning of the game. Southeastern edge is literally this, right? This is where we started. Uh, southeastern, follow where you lead. Southeastern edge where your journey begins, which is here. But what, uh, like, what's the deal about it? Southeastern, south, southeastern edge where your journey begins. Uh, hmm. But I'm not even sure what that, like, well, what's what's the deal with that? I'm actually kind of curious here. Like, all of these, I think, were relevant to this area, right? And it gave me the, the translations for the rest. I think, right? Yeah. So, and I think they follow this throughout the rest of the areas, right? So, if that's right then that should narrow our actions down to you know, where we got these hints from, right? But it didn't seem to be enough. It's literally just this, and I don't, I don't really understand. Unless it has something to do with this little side area here, which, again, doesn't mean much. This was literally just a, another sequence entry, which... I have no idea. <laughs> We couldn't even guess at brute forcing this one because we've got nothing to go off. Of. Mm. Mm. Well. 
That doesn't make much sense. So if we start in the area where we got the hits, right? Well... Okay. Southeastern edge where your journey begins. Thessaly, right? But we start here. Follow where the ram leads, which really doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. But I guess it would lead us here. According to the stars, right? And that's assuming that the, the hint of the ram was the first one to follow anyways. Swan, the longest man is the Okay, let's go with the swan, which is the longest wing, which is to the right. right maybe I thought so. Longest wing, which is to the right. And then the crab says to distrust the lion, so we're not going to follow the lion hints. But the guitar points the way. Which is also to the right. But that makes very little sense, because I'm already at the rightmost edge. But what the hell does that even mean? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm all, all for, like, cool, obscure, clever puzzles and shit, but, like, I need a starting point. I need a starting point for this. Like, where, where, where does one even begin? I mean, unless this is just in sequence, right? Which doesn't make any damn sense to me. Oh, excuse me. Like, if it's just sequence one, two, three, four here, that that might make more sense. Who knows? So, I mean, the swan. Start here, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Lion, the brightest star points the way, which is not as. Well, I mean, that would be the one over yonder, right? But, then later on I'm told to distrust that. So it wouldn't be the brightest star points the way, it would be the... something else? I guess? I don't know. But if I were following that, I would go blop, blop, blop. No idea how to even interpret that next part. Blop, blop. Blop. Uh, 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 like right here. And the ram follow where he leads. Be up to the here. And then the guitar points the way which would be over here. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I, I think it's the the third one is first two, but like, in, in terms of where this... In, in terms of this area where the hints were, were, were gained, right? Like, the southeastern edge would be here. But how am I meant to interpret the, the little star chart for it, then? Because I can't go... I mean, I can go right... I can go down and right. 
supposedly. Which would lead me to here. And I guess that was me starting at a bright ass star. So that sort of makes sense. Um. But now if I use that star, uh, if I use this bright ass star as a starting point somewhere else, which one would be next? Swan, lion, or the crab? None of them really match up to where we are right now. But then again... If we start... Okay, let's start over with this. Tessaly was here, right? The start of our journey. For the ram, follow where he leads. Then the ram horn is kind of... Going down to the right. So like down here is where it, where it ends, right? So now we're on a dim star, supposedly. So where does... How does this line up with any of the others? Does it even? Because none of the rest of these are really... Besides the crab... But even then, like, how the fuck would I know? Like, there's no, there's no feedback on the individual steps of this. This is probably, it's probably my biggest gripe of this game so far on the puzzle bits, is that you're supposed to put this sequence together, and you have no idea if you're getting even parts of it right. Eastern edge, like this is as south and eastern as we can get, pretty much, right? Uh -huh. If that were true, like we'll be fucking do tarantula town. But I guess my my big assumption here. that it is a map based thing, which seems like it is, but who the fuck knows. Which, yeah, let's go back to the map. I don't think doing any extra combat here was, uh, was gonna do it. <sighs> so, alright, so, so Southeastern edge where the Balaveri leads, southeastern, he'll meet you at the southeastern edge where the journey begins. Meet you at the southeastern edge. So we're not starting at the southeastern edge, we're meeting him at the southeastern edge. Which to me says, like, here. Okay. That's the end of the that's the end of the constellation, really. straight, follow where he leads. So maybe that's not the first one in the sequence, then. I don't know. 
So, all right. Let's I'll carry this another way then. <clears throat> If we if we do it in, in in sequence of the hints as they're presented, there's the swan, right? So up to over to the right makes a little bit of sense, I guess. The lion, the brightest star, points the way, and the brightest star is all the way the fuck over here. And then the ram follow where he leads. Something something southeastern, right? But we're already at the southeastern edge, so. Must literally go back to start. Southeastern edge is the southernmost part. The guitar points the way, just trust the line. Which didn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense anyway. Um, okay. Um. Well, considering this is the last night I want to spend on this, I'm gonna look up a small hint for this bit too, because, uh, this is. Cool. So I found a thread about this particular puzzle, and then they go into shit about the, uh, the Stygian well stuff that we've already solved. Something to do with following constellations and glowing stars on them. Okay, yeah, we, we got that far. Until you get to the line and you go the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, so, alright, so I, I didn't want to read too far through. I didn't want to read too far through the one I just had, so... I think we're in the wrong place for this. Which, how the fuck would you ever know? <laughs> like, I think every other bit of the game is you follow the hints in the area that you receive them, so if this is a fucking deviation from that, that's, uh, mm, questionable design. But I think it's here. Like this is this is the thing ding here. Which yeah, okay, this is sort of resembling the shit, right? That's cool and fine. Do these resemble All of these resemble one of the things we wrote down. Like, okay, this kind of looks like the crab, the guitar shape, right? This kind of looks like the lion, but upside down. Or rotated, I suppose, right? Uh, that one doesn't look like anything we've seen. Here's the non-rotated lion constellation, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. There's a bright star right there in the corner, yeah? Uh, that one doesn't match anything. Here's another crab one, but it's got the bright star in the wrong spot. So that's probably not it anyways. And there's this, which is sort of the ram, but really poorly rotated. That one doesn't match up to anything either. There's that one. So it's kind of the crab, but the shine in the wrong spot. This is kind of the line, but the shine in the wrong spot and rotated.
Okay, this looks... Uh, well, it did look like the ram until we got to this bit. This is like the crab with the shines in the wrong spot. Uh, this is... Yeah, pretty close to the swan, actually, just a bit rotated. And the shiny star's in the right spot, and it's the right wing that's the longest, so that makes sense. That one's close to the, the ram, but the shiny one's in the wrong spot. And this is like the crab, but the shiny one's in the wrong spot again. I guess we're at the upper edge of this. Okay, this is this is closer to the swan with the shiny ones in the wrong spot again. And we trekked all around this place? I guess we didn't check the center. Wait, just check. It's, uh... Green star. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of lineups there, too. <laughs> just kind of lines up upon itself here. That's probably not coincidence, and if it is, I'll eat my hat. But what does that mean, then? So everything lines up like this. Yeah, it looks pretty, but... But I can go in literally any other direction here, so, like, how helpful is this? It's true that it's the only green star in this area, I think, so that's probably the start. But even so, like, even if this is the start, there's no indication that... Uh, well, hmm. Like, again, any sort of indicator that this is, uh... This is the right thing to do would be okay, but... All I've got is the visual lineups of things. <clears throat> and then the ability to go in any other direction, so, yeah, very helpful. Um... So then if we find the swan from there, I guess? Which would be here, right? Pretty close. Oh. Oh no, that just took me out of there. Well, what the? Okay. Um. Let me read it just a little bit further in that thing that I saw. Okay, so here, here's where I stopped reading. Find a single green star in the upper right corner and try to align it with three more stars of yellow, red, and blue. Which we did, right? Because it all kind of started lining up. 
Maybe. The fuck is it now? There. Okay. Okay. My last blah. And a single green star in the upper right corner, line up with three more stars, blah 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 blah. After that you'll find yourself surrounded by a group of shiny stars that depict something you'll find quite helpful. Really? They depict something they'll find quite helpful, huh? Um Okay. I think I see it. Okay. Wow. That requires a, a lot of attention. So, alright. And some memory, which is bad news for me. So, back with the first set of hints that was telling us about the different translations of these symbols, right? The whole AC four-ish looking thing and T, translating into one, two, three, and four, and up, left, right, and down, were accompanied by a group of three points to represent the directions, right? So look at how many groups of three points we've got on here. Top and bottom, we've got four groups of three. So eight symbols. And we need eight digits for that code, right? So if we read it left to right, top to bottom, that's down, left, up, right, left, up, right, down. So with that in mind, and with our translation key still intact, down, left, up, right, which would be uh, T, C, A, 4, and then left, up, right, down, uh, which would be C, A, uh, 4, T. It's worth a shot. I mean, and I guess it's the only reasonable thing you could pull out of this, right? Because going any other direction is like there's there's no feedback as to as to which direction you should go if any so we'll try it we'll try it if this turns out to be the case i'm still going to be a little peeved that you need to act on the hints in the previous area in this area that's a little silly but hey what the fuck do i know what the fuck do i know considering the rest of the game was teaching us to use the hints where we found them. But okay, so now we've got the code, right? So, T... C... A... 4... C... A... 4... That's silly. That strikes me as very silly. But okay, cool. Hooray, that's probably not going to be the last one, though. There's still, like, two pieces left. Excuse me, where the fuck are you supposed to get those? <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, and it leads me to another thing. I suppose it's good. Oh, they're gonna. Okay, so they're gonna give me another thing here. All right. <laughs> All right. That's that's good. That gives us something. Most well, ashes. That's for me. This caused the world to plummet and avoid war and chaos. I was wishing. Ah, this is gonna be lost for pain. Soon the world would eventually mend. Hundreds of years have passed. The war continues. Lantosius, Manishus, and Sticks. 
The long shadow cast performance has potentially turned as nothing to damp and the violence has been forgotten. The crystal walls created to protect us from having been abused and ignored. Ours can only hold them for so long. Our homes can we still unite once more to stop them. Our legs are just one the universe. From the very beginning, very, very emphasized. Okay. Okay. Very beginning. Slowly unravel the world. His patience is boundless, yet he takes no commercial breaks. He is always moving. Cannot stop Cronus. He will annihilate everything. Slowly unravel the world. I'm just going to type this out verbatim so we don't have to revisit. In the very beginning, he will slowly unravel the world. Patience is boundless. I wish I had that amount of patience. Yet he takes no commercial breaks. He is always moving. That's what we get for, for our for our trouble. Okay. The very beginning, right? All ones. This would be really stupid if they wanted us to do this, but who knows. <laughs> so, alright. From the very beginning, he will slowly unravel the world. His patience is boundless, yet he takes no commercial breaks. He is always moving. Let's go back to... Go back to the very start. I want to consult the first translation codes. Because here's where we got the little star directional things, right? In the very beginning, he will slowly unravel the world. It wouldn't be the very first code again, would it? I'm seeing. I'm. I'm. I'm feeling that as a possibility, but. This is probably a fool's errand. It's 
if this is some kind of meta commentary on not to reuse your passwords, I'm gonna be a little upset. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? First code. So they were very clear about emphasizing very. All caps and everything. So if it's the very first code, then it's A4 C C four C C A. Damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Um Okay. From the very beginning, he will slowly unravel the world. His patience is boundless, yet he takes no commercial breaks. He is always moving. Let's look back at the other hints once. So my curiosity is if this follows the a similar pattern to one that was delivered in a similar fashion. I'm almost certain that one of these other ones kind of gave you the whole thing and then just the blanks, right? No, that was the musical one. We figured that one out. That was fine. Okay, so here's, here's the second one, right? Power to slow time. Transient numbers hidden amongst white noise. Okay. So... That one was more positional. That was watching the trailer. Right? So the the third the yeah I guess the third bit of this takes no commercial breaks. So is that a hint that it's not in the trailer? It's not in something we would watch, right? That seems to make sense. Maybe. And then there was this, which was directions on the fail screen, which doesn't make any sense this, right? In the very beginning, he will slowly unravel the world. Patience is boundless, he takes no commercial breaks, he is always moving. Very beginning. The very beginning. There. Kind of another thought that I had was to uh, no. Another thought that I had was to enter each previous code in sequence as directions on the overworld, maybe? 
and then that would lead us to something. Uh, do a little blah, 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 and then give us a code or something, but I honestly don't. I don't. I don't like if they're expecting that amount of patience from me, and if they're expecting me to have kept those other codes written down, that's a little much. That's too big of an ask. But from the very beginning, slowly unravel the world. Unravel, unwind, untwist, unveil. Unwrap. Unravel the world. Wait, I've got another idea, actually. From the very beginning, huh? The very beginning. Like a new game, very beginning, maybe? Oh dear. Wait. Okay, I'm having I'm having some second thoughts about this actually. Do they want me to delete my game? They wouldn't. They wouldn't, right? That no, that's beyond the pale. You can't do that. Okay, we're not gonna do that. But if we follow the new game angle, right? Follow the new game angle. Slowly unravel the world as patience is boundless city takes no commercial breaks. So no cutscenes, right? No cutscenes. Um. Uh, wasn't there something to, to skip the cutscenes in here somewhere? I thought there was. I swear there was, wasn't there? Is there not a thing that you could do? Oh, here. Game dialogue, I guess. Patience is boundless, so he takes no commercial breaks. He is always moving. I mean, that was one hand, that was one of the other ones, whatever. Uh... Okay, I'm... I'm not 100% on that line of thought, so, uh, so that's a no. <laughs> that's a big ol' no, we're not gonna keep pursuing that. Huh. Like, the whole starting a new game part is kinda clever, and I can appreciate that. But... I think we'll file that away for a second. And then can you pitch your idea? Yeah, like, what do you got? What, what, what speaks to you from this hint? Like, the very beginning part I feel is, is extremely clear, but what beginning? 
What beginning are they referring to? Actually, does what's his nuts give us anything for this? Very beginning would be the title screen. Ooh, that's a good thought too, huh? That's a good thought. All right. You know, I can appreciate that. The very beginning. Patience is boundless, and he takes no commercial breaks. He's always moving. All right. If it's if it's literal interpretation time. I think. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. I think the no commercial breaks part is preventing the demo from playing out. Being patient means keeping this up for a while and always moving. Well, I'm trying to do that right now, right? And un I don't know about the unraveling bit. Maybe just always moving left. I know they said pa boundless patience, but I am a mere mortal, so I don't know how patient I'm going to be with this uh, this aspect of it. Unless there's something else here. Okay, I've got another idea if this doesn't pan out. So, title screen being the very beginning is good. That's a good thought. I like that, in fact. Um, we'll, we'll see. So, let's, um, let's let the demo kick in. Right? And then we can skip it. That all kind of makes sense, right? The always moving bit kind of stymies it a little bit. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, those are definitely characters, aren't they? Are you fucking serious? Oh no, alright. Okay. Wow, good eye. Good fucking eye. Now, all right, that, that makes a lot of sense then. Preventing the demo from playing so you can see that scroll by. Okay, um, I guess, huh? It means I also need to transcribe this as it floats by. But that was like a good solid, like, two minutes that we had to wait, wasn't it? That's kind of... that's kind of nuts. <laughs> that's kind of nuts. And that, uh... That's a little... that seems like it's a little much to me. I, it, it seems like one of those things, like... From an absolute value standpoint, like, two minutes isn't that much time. But if you didn't know to wait... Like, that's really pushing the bounds of my goodwill towards this, honestly. But alright. It's starting to float in. So we've got a right. I gotta make sure the demo doesn't do the thing. Got a right, we've got a down. And we've got another right. Like, I will, I will commend them for thinking outside the box with some of these. Like, absolutely. Oh, excuse me. 100% agree on them being very clever. 
right down, right up. Up. Left. So what confuses me about this a little bit, though, is, like, how does that have anything to do with unraveling the world? Like, if it showed time flowing in reverse in the back somehow, I would get that, but the whole unravel bit seems weird. But alright, that's, that's eight thingamadings, isn't it? That is eight thingamadings we can interpret and uh, <clears throat> put in. But I, I feel like there's still going to be one more after this, too, because this won't be the final piece of that Crystal Heart Dillabop. But Jesus, good eye on that. Translate this real quick. So right would be four down T right four up A A left C down would be four T and then up would be A. Ah! Okay. So that code that we've uh, now obtained. 4, T, 4, A, A, C, T, A. <laughs> Good, Jamie. That's pretty funny. Oh, that is going to be the last pin. Okay, I figured there was going to be another little, little tiny bit to it. But no, I guess. So, hmm. So then what? This entry is passed. Uh huh. Paragon not appear. Yada yada. So now I saw that little bit of a little a little thingamading there in the background. See that kind of popping up behind the clouds? I wonder if that's part of the map left over, or if it's actually a thing we need to see. But whatever. Alright. Lore, 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 lore. Alright, did not appear in the world of Ravaged. I started to believe I had made a tremendous mistake until something happened. It seems the Paragon was not a man. In fact, Paragon is not even an individual. After all these years, I'm searching for perfect human follies. Paragon has proven to be a group. Ah, a group. A group of four, perhaps. Leader, the educator, the loyal, and the culture. Okay, three of those four match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the cultured is Meg, because <laughs> her whole shtick has been like kind of not not cultured necessarily, but the irony of the culture, right? So, few furies, uh huh. Surpass every trial, uh huh, uh huh. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Look at that, another little gate thing that was probably floating behind. Okay, but then what? <laughs> Oops. Can I do anything with this? No, it's just there to be pretty.
okay, but... Okay, but... <laughs> Okay, but... Okay, but, <laughs> um, huh? Okay, but then what? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. But <laughs> wait, wait just a tick. Wait, the, there, there's nothing to go off of here. But oh, okay, but <laughs> but there's only four of us, and there's eight inputs. There's eight little digits we gotta put in here. How does one? Hmm. I don't hmm. So they're not statues aren't attackable in any way. Not movable. There wasn't any red text in that last one, so, uh... Yeah, the, those, I believe, I think the statues are the intro poses they take when you enter a level. And at least Aaron's, the engineer's one, is uh, her, her idle board animation, I think. She pulls out a plant.
I know Meg's is at least the uh, level entry one. Or no, that's her idol animation too. And this might very well be Triss's shout. That might be her entry thing now too. Let's let's pay more attention to that, I guess, huh? level though, it's not technically a level. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't her thing. Interesting. I thought that was her level entry. But maybe not then. <laughs> maybe not then. Yeah, it's definitely her shout, but what does that mean? idea, but I think the only kind of metagame thing that we haven't consulted here is the credits. So, let's consult the credits once. Just out of abject curiosity. Let's start paying attention when, if, when and if they get to, uh, anything about the, uh, the characters here. Okay, not in character or whatever, but... Now, now I'm on the lookout for any of those star patterns again because uh, yeah, Cellador Games is an indie studio. Surely, surely they are. They did Rogue Legacy, and they're working on Rogue Legacy too. One or two frame flash. No, nothing. Well, okay. That was that was a thought I had, but no good there. Hmm. 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 Well, I'm glad I didn't follow through with my delete the save file idea. That would have been embarrassing. Like, there's... Hmm. Unless... Hold on a second. Yeah, I uh, thought... So we, we completed this little crystal thing, right? That's the only thing I can think of. Um... Like, that's the only thing we got out of that, was the last piece of the crystal. Etc, etc, etc. But have we seen a place to put this? I 
I don't know that there's a place that we can use that. Like, it doesn't even have, like, a little secondary thing like some of these items did, right? It's like, we got the little code there. And we got the little puzzly puzzle there. And all these other things kind of give you something. Well, except for that one. This thing hasn't done anything for us yet, so... Okay. Alright, let's 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 focus our investigation around the little crystal Dillabop. Where would that be useful? Certainly not at the gate itself. My guess is that we're going to have to use that... We have to use that somewhere to get the code. But where? But where, but where? We have to revisit these things, right? Ah! It seems weird to me that... Uh... It's in the shape of a heart, but... What does that mean? Is there like a, a heart-shaped gap somewhere? Or a little thing that was like, oh, you can't progress past here unless you give me a little heart-shaped little dillabop? I don't think I remember any of that. We have to get it, like, glued together somehow? guy doesn't have anything to say. Don't have enough money for anything, right? Still missing a couple things. I'm guessing those are the two chests we're missing on the first part of the overworld, probably. Let's take a trot around the world here. Let's see if we can see anything that stands out. Down there, and we've already been through that area. Hmm. 
missing two chests out of this area too. That's weird. No, that doesn't match up to what I was thinking. Hmm, okay. Something to do with the sequence of the characters that we can choose? Triss, Aaron, Alex, Meg. Diamonds, spades, hearts, clubs. Doesn't really match up to any of the symbols, does it? star-shaped overlay that over them is there. Last of these tablets that I got. Where was that? You just looked it up and you hate it. Good luck. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't fill me with hope and inspiration. That sounds like something that we're not gonna get and we're not gonna figure out. Which has happened, you know, two or three times. Um hmm. Could have been the chrono storms, right? Last little bits we got. All right, because this was the star path stuff, which ended up not being really relevant at all. Well, with the exception of probably pointing us to where the green star was, right? In hindsight. Uh, okay. Good then. Hmm. I 
Wait a minute. Okay, so... There's a sequence here, isn't there? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, but since when does that ever stop? So, let's go back to that little thing that told us about it right before the game, right? This one here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a group. The leader, the educator, the loyal, and the cultured. Which seems to be one, two, three, four, right? Or maybe not. One, four, three, two. I don't know. This, mm, this already feels weird. But all right, let's try that twice in a row and see what happens. Four, three, two is what I came up with. So, okay. bit that I can think of is way back at the beginning again, looking at those hints, and then trying to divine something. So what did it say? The Well, while we're here, the leader, the something, the something, the something, right? Leader, educator, loyal, cultured. Okay. Leader, educator, loyal, cultured. Educated, loyal, cultured, right? Leader, right? Loyal. Inference, so educated, maybe? Intuition, also educated, though. I need a tiny hint as a starter point here because again this is coming to the point of well it could be a lot of different things and that there's no feedback as to which one is the correct one to, to pursue. Little Metal Furies, King's Gate, hopefully the top result isn't the answer. I don't want the answer. I want just a little hint. No, I just don't. Give me the fucking codes, I just want to the fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think I was on the right track, because one of these is saying the monoliths of the first world give you the hint. Okay, that's where we're at. <laughs> but... What did I say it was? Leader, loyal... Or no, leader, educator, loyal, cultured, right? Those were the, 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 the keywords. But 
how does that line up? So, leader loyal. Okay. See how intuition and what was the other one? Inference. Inference and intuition to me speak to like educated, right? Educator. I don't I don't know how cultured plays into this, if that's even a thing. Hmm. I'm not even sure how to, uh, how to even sequence that properly. Is there another bit, is there another bit of that hint that speaks to kind of that same thing? Educated the lawyer, uh, leader, educator, loyal, cultured. Okay. Yeah, there's not another like sequence of four to 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 meet the last bit of that. The second part of the hint that I read was um, the statues by the gate. Leader, educator, the loyal, and I presume Meg is meant to be the cultured. So if that's true, then... Leader... Loyal... Educated... Cultured? I don't... And then just repeat it? I don't know. That's, um... Hmm. The other part of that hint. Okay, I don't particularly understand the part of the hint that I just read, but...
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 work this. Let's work the problem, right? So, four symbols on the left for the four statues of the Furies, right? The four symbols on the right are still a kind of a mystery. But Thought for this. Leader, educator, loyal, cultured. The four furies. The first half of the thing, right? So leader is A or 1, right? Loyal is C or 2. I don't, and I, and I don't necessarily understand the distinction between, uh, or educator. Educator is first, so loyal would be number three. Okay. I don't necessarily understand the distinction between, uh, educator and cultured. Because inference and intuition. Inference seems to speak more towards, uh, educator than everything else. This would be four, which is three, right? Okay. Okay. Cultured. Which I don't necessarily agree with this being cultured, but whatever. Which would be T. <laughs> Or four. Leader, educator, loyal, cultured. Sure. That might be the first half. A4, C, T. The second half... Statue on the right was the cat, right? Right? Go cat. Go cat. We just didn't one of the runes mean go? Which one was it? This one? That's loyal. Loyal fire second, whatever. Here. Go. Like literally go. So okay, that's what four. Three. And then the other symbols are C-A-T. No. They wouldn't do that, would they? The Four Furies, and then go C-A-T. Go Cat. Come on. that That's not right. That can't be right. They wouldn't do that, would they? I wouldn't put it past them, but I don't think they would do that. Let's give it a let's give it a try. Let's give it a go. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Okay, uh well I guess that that gives me the correct number of symbols. It's gonna be so weird if this is it. But alright, so, so we made a wild ass guess at probably half of the first half of this. So uh leader uh, educator, uh, loyal, and what I presume is cultured, and then go, C, A, T. Okay. It's possible that I swapped, um, educator and cultured, though, because those two didn't make any sense, but it's still... 
leader, uh, educator would have been swapped, so... Uh, intuition? And then... Uh, loyal, which is still this one, I believe. Or no, it would be this one. And then let's try it. Let's keep going. Go, okay. Go, C, A, T. Hmm. No. Okay. That's kind of bizarre. Or maybe it's the sequence. I'm just getting wrong. So leaders first, right, Triss? Uh, loyal would probably be Alex. So that would be um, this one, right? And then the educator, which is uh, actually no, I already fucked this up. So leader we know is probably right. Uh, and then the loyal would be that. And then, um, what was it? Inference and intuition? And then go cat, I'm assuming, is the still the right one. What? Excuse me, really? It was literally one, two, three, four, and then go cat. Uh, okay, um, I'm a little side eye at that one. Hmm. <laughs> Sack of crystals. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um... Okay, um... Oh, I, I thought that was going to fill in this last little thing here, but I guess not. <laughs> that would have been funny. Alright, well then, it, it's another portal to something. To, to the cave, huh? Side the fate of humanity. Uh-oh. Have to make a tough choice here. Act 9! We are in the world of fears after losing deep in the ignorance the of the fate of humanity lies in our hands. Yada yada yada, approach the end of their journey. Alright, well... Oh, is this gonna be a, a play on Plato's the cave? Was it Plato's thing? Cave? His little analogy, whatever? Yeah, it's pretty much free roam in here, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay. Alright, what, what do you got? I'm not gonna be surprised by anything anymore, I don't think. There's some weird ass shit going on. explain why he was able to give us all those hints, wouldn't it? 
Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, big twist. I see. I can, I can see why. I can see the hint as to how he's Prometheus, though. Is the... The thing about Prometheus was that he stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. I get it. He's got the little fire to Labop, right? I get it. The imagery makes sense. Crystal mirror. <laughs> Just put them all in a sack. <laughs> hmm. They're not wormholes, they're worm buttholes, huh? Okay. Okay, this is getting weird. This is getting exceedingly weird. His punishment was to get locked up in the underworld and have his liver eaten for eternity or something. Yeah, I think that's right. He was he was chained to a rock, and then was it I think it was an eagle always came to eat his liver or something, and then it would regenerate overnight and that would go on forever. I think that's that's about right. That sounds right. It sounds weird enough to be a Greek thing, right? I think it's Greek, or is it Roman? No, it's Greek. Greek mythology. Let's solve some riddles. Well, we solved most of them. We gave up on like three of them. Um, excuse me? What is this Mass Effect horse shit? Okay, um... What? <laughs> what is this? Do I get to read and back out of this, I hope? Well, if I don't, I'm probably gonna choose Sticks, honestly. She was cute. Quality above all else, there shall be no haves and have-nots. I mean, that's not a bad way to go, I guess. Okay, it does let me back out, though, so we can read what all these are. Just one king above all others, no democracy, no compromises, just one voice? That sounds like horseshit. No. A ruling decision is made purely to propel scientific and technological advancements forward, no matter the cost. See, I, like, you had me until you, uh... Got to no matter the costs. Like, that's hubris of science written all over it. This all seems very absolutist, and I do not enjoy. Homogeny over diversity. One culture and one people in the country. No, these are all kind of shitty. Like, the least bad one sounded like sticks, honestly. Hmm. Like, all of that sounds bad. Like, it's all very absolutist. That's not how things should work. I am H.O. Are they gonna give me a cheeky out of this? Maybe? Let's see what we got. Or, I've got another, I've got another idea on how to, how to solve this problem. Oh, come on. Really? Like, it's funny that they, they let me... Ah. Yeah, fuck you! 
Fuck you for making me choose a dumb bullshit piece of shit, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, fuck face, let's go. I knew that, that, I knew that would be like a bad end. You made a dumb choice. But okay, let's fucking fight this out. Oh, oh, he's, he's a lot larger in person. Some of my abilities here. We spent the last like two and a half sessions doing puzzles. You thought we forgot about the combat? seem very fair, did it? Fuck you, a-hole. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Like, the, the fact that this is presumably the last boss battle means we made the choice for the good ending, right? Skip his whole intro. No, alright.
shit. Okay, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I wish I could just skip this part. Chances are we're gonna see it two or three more times. Alright, come on. Stand, oh, <laughs> stand there right there, idiot. Ah, oh, fuck you. Come on. There you go. Just right there, but drop your dumb shit. Okay. Between this and obscure ass puzzles, we can beat this. This is this is nothing. Ouch. Here, idiot. There you go. Oh, oh. Ah! 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 A little bit more, oh, of course. Ah! to die. 
die there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker, like no safe no safe zones around any of that. Eat my ass. Ugh. Okay, that's all right, we got closer. It's down to a quarter. Right idea. Until shit started falling from the sky all over the place. <clears throat> Cool. Glad I wasted all of that. Super neat and awesome.
Oh, yeah, that was fair. Thanks, asshole. <sighs> no iframes. That's cool. Thanks, thanks, cool. Thanks, cool, awesome. right there. Now what are you doing? He's got the shield around him that means I can't fucking hurt him with the only person I got left alive. Neat. Neat and cool. Come <laughs> on. 
for you that time. Oh, shit. Ah! Excuse me. Yes. Okay, cool. Good, yep, and then he's invulnerable. Thanks. Fucking cool. Laid down? No, of course not. How fucking silly. takes like 10 million seconds to complete. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, whatever. feel pretty comfortable saying this is the final boss, so we're just gonna stick it out. Such a Amazing. 
yeah, that's awesome. This big fat ass blocked that entirely from view. Thanks. Hit what you're aiming at. It's good fucking guy. Okay, fuck you. Really? Yeah, great. One fucking attack that would murder me in one go. Gotta choose that one. Whatever. I know I've probably got enough money to upgrade some shit, but no. In this for the long haul here. Enough to get away from him. That's silly. Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks, that can't suffice.
Where was my shield there? Excuse me. I guess there's gonna be, uh, gonna be a second phase. No, is he just gonna explode? That's it. <laughs> oh boy. Answer, this is a flaws of virtue, always growing, blah 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 blah. I'm real curious what would have actually happened had we chosen one of the other four options though. Ah well. Probably for the best. <laughs> Good luck saving the world. I think we already did. Didn't we just do that? That thing we just did. <laughs> the flame, of course. <coughs> of course. Hooray! We did it! Is that it? Credits roll are done? I feel like that's it. I feel like that's it. Credits roll were done. And the finish book started. Hooray! Ten times were defeated, paving the way for Prometheus to turn, except he turned out to be a real shitbag, so we took care of it. <laughs> there we go. He was a giant tool. Very good then. <laughs> Glad I'm on the same page as the Fur presumably the Furies are talking now. <laughs> oh, 
very good. Well, there were a couple rough spots and a couple spots I didn't really agree with, but overall, very good game. Good game, good game. What happened to Bob? Did we miss Bob already? Oh. Or did we did we never actually fight Bob? That could be. Thank you. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about him. Time bomb. It's in time bomber lake. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Alright, the enemy names are clever. I like that. I did like that very much. Hexer, hex, tex, hexagon. <laughs> Super hexagon? Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Exercise, surely, but not worth it. Sure, that was a fun fight. I actually, actually really like that fight. And it's weird that we fought Jupiter. But hey, whatever. And Prometheus is a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, man. Yeah. Eat it, old man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna 
Lord. Well, well done, Solar Door Games. Well done. Techno feature, feel like fan. Nice. So they had a lot of different concepts they rolled with. That's pretty cool. Flamethrower shotgun combo? Ooh. That would have been fun. Kind of cool. I like they stuck in little concept designs during the credits. tilt they did was a little fucky with trying to determine what the size of the hitboxes actually were. <laughs> Cute. Mag Rock and Jazz flute over there. Oh, very good. I think we can call that a wrap. Yeah, 58,000 Gs from doing that, the first third of that fight over and over and over again. All right, but I think that'll do it. That'll do it. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm gonna go eat something and probably drink something. <laughs> good Lord. Oh, we get little crowns in the title screen, because we did it. We, we did the thing. We won the game. All right, well, that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 8.30-ish p.m. CDT. It's co-op. Time for co-op. It'll just be me and uh, 006, though. Boris can't make it this time, which is a shame. But we'll do our best with just two people. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>